Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to my second SPSS tutorial video. Uh, last episode we discussed how you should open a data set and how you should, uh, which settings you should use. And today we'll uh, yeah, continue on our SPSS journey. <laughs> and uh, today we will discuss uh, what the data view and what the variable view is. And the output screen and another syntax screen. So what the difference between the screens is and the difference between the views is. Uh, if you have not watched my first tutorial, uh, I recommend you doing so because there's a particular order in which we uh, in which we discuss every topic. Okay, so let's start by discussing the difference between data view and variable view. In your data view, you can see all the answers of the survey. Like almost every data set represents a survey. And you have an y-axis and an x-axis. Uh, an x -axis. And the y-axis uh, shows all the respondents. So this is respondent one, which has respondent number 5437, has filled in a two uh, at the question about which sex he is, etc. So the y-axis shows all the respondents. So if you go to the end of the data set, you can see that this survey had 1638 respondents because that's the length of the y-axis. If we then look at the x-axis, it shows the variables, so the questions which were asked. So in this case, the respondent number, what sex you are, what age you are, uh, what the income of your household is, what your personal income is, and uh, yeah, your education. So the y-axis in the data view shows the respondents, the x-axis shows the variables, and these are all the answers given. So for example, so for example, uh, respondent one, uh, his household income is uh, uh, 2375 uh, euros. And his or her education level is 244. Okay, so that's the data view, which shows all the data of your survey. Then there's the variable view, which shows once again the, the variables. These are the same as in the data view. But it shows what type of uh, it shows what type of uh, questions they are, what the width of them is, and the label. So what they mean. For example, sex. The label of it is gender, or age. The label of it, it is uh, age at the time of survey. Age at the time of survey. And probably the most interesting part about the variable view is the values. Because it shows what the values of all the questions mean, of all the variables mean. For example, this is the variable sex. And the values are, a 1 is a male, a 2 is a female, or if you didn't want to answer the question, you chose a 9. So if you want to know what the, what the values mean, for example, respondent 1 in the data view answered uh, his or her sex with a 2. If you want to know what that means, then you go to variable view, Go to sex, and then you choose values and press the triple dot over here. And you can see that a 2 means female. So in this way, you can always see uh, what certain values or variables mean. Uh, or for example, over here, yeah, you can see the different values of the household income. I won't discuss all of them. So at values, you can see what the different values in the data set mean. So that's the difference between data view and variable view. Um, yeah, most of the time I have variable view open because it's, uh, yeah, you don't really often use data view. Okay, so that's the difference between those two views. I hope it's uh, clear to you. Um, then we'll take a look because this is the data set and this is on the upper. Uh, in the upper part of your screen, you'll see all different kinds of functions, especially if you press analyze, there's like a thousand functions you can do. The, uh, the options are endless for SPSS, but as I said in a previous tutorial, you won't be using all of them. Um, if you ask, for example, you want to know the mean of uh, the age. So everybody, every respondent filled in his or her age. And you want to know what the mean of that is, or the median, or the mode. That, uh, then, for example, you go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Descriptives, and you select, the, you select H. 
uh, more about uh, more about descriptives and analyze and all the different functions will be shown later on. This is only to show that the about uh, how the output screen works because in your data screen you select the function you want and then if you press OK it will be opened in the output screen. In the output screen you will now see that the mean of age is 55.98. That means that the average person in the survey is almost 56 years old and that the minimum is 18 and the maximum is 94. But uh, so that explains the data screen and the output screen. But during the statistics course uh, uh, which we use at Vrije Universiteit and what I'm in personal favor of is, uh, as well is that you also use the syntax screen. I'll show you, uh, I'll explain how it works in a second, but first you have to open it by going to file, then pressing open, then pressing data, then going to your data set again, select it, but this time don't press open, but press paste. And now a third screen, the syntax screen will be opened. And this is your so-called command center from the, uh, uh, this screen is in between the data set and the output screen. And how does it work? Every time you use a function, you press paste instead of OK. And a code will be pasted in this syntax screen. For example, if you want the same as uh, before, you want to do a function, so you go to the data screen. Then you press analyze, descriptive statistics, descriptives. Then you select the variable age if you want, for example, the mean of age. But this time, don't press OK, but press Paste. If you now go to the syntax screen, you'll see that there's a code for the, uh, for the descriptives you want, for the mean you want. It shows over here. This has now been added to your syntax file. Then you just press it, and there's this uh, great big green play button and you press it. And then in your output screen, the table you want, for in this case the descriptive statistics of the variable age, will be shown. And you always do it, you always use this order. In the data set, you press the function you want, for example, uh, descriptives, but this time let's not use age, but let's use sex, if you want the effort, yeah, uh, let's use household income. Then you press paste, and then in your syntax screen, so in your command center, there is now a code for household income. You, you, uh, you press on the code, and then press the big green run or play button. It says run selection. And then if you run that in your output screen, there will be a descriptive for household income, which shows that the average household income is 2704 euros. And this is the order you always use. You start in your data screen, you select the function you want, then you paste the function, so the code of it, into the syntax screen, then you select the code, press run, and then in your output screen, you get what you get the table or graph or whatever you want that you want. Perfect English. Uh, so that's the order you always use. Data screen syntax screen and then uh, uh, syntax screen uh, data screen syntax screen output screen that's the order you always use and it might seem a bit vague now but it will be easy it will be a lot easier than you think and once you're used to it you can't imagine it anyway else uh, why do we use the syntax screen why do we use it uh, because it's really easy to save uh, to save your stuff as long as you save this your syntax screen, if you press save every once in a while, then you can see exactly what you did. You have your complete history of what you did right here, because you can see everything. So if you uh, mess up halfway, and you only find out later on, then you can look back in your syntax and see exactly what you did wrong. Okay, that's it for now. We've almost reached 10 minutes. Uh, so, this, so the difference between the data view in the variable view, the data view shows the data with respondents and the different variables. In the variables, you can see all the information about the variables, including its values. And over here, you can see the different type of measurements. 
And there's a difference between the data screen in which you select the functions, then you paste them into the syntax screen, and then if you run it, your output will be opened in the output screen. I hope it's clear for you now, uh, and feel free to leave a comment in the comment section if you don't understand, and I'll try to answer it. Um, that was BuzzPSS tutorials for now. Uh, I hope everything is clear, and uh, see you guys around.